index middle. Okay, let's do the same thing, but this time we're going to hit once with the I finger. I rest the I finger on the B string, then I hit with M finger and I raise my I finger that was resting on the B string, and now the A finger is resting on the B string. Let's take a closer look, okay? So, let's begin. If we begin with the I finger, hit the string, rest on the B string, then hit with M finger. At the same time, you raise your I finger, and now your M finger is resting on the B string, okay? That's the joke. Okay, let's do it counting one, two, three, four. Okay, that's one measure of four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So just do it and practice till you get comfortable with it. I'm going to, to upload these exercises with my guitar and my fingers so you can practice at home. For now, just pay attention to these exercises so you can practice with, uh, with it later, okay? Now, let's do the same thing, but this time with uh, M finger and A finger, middle and ring finger, okay? This time is going to be the same thing, but we begin with the middle finger. count one two three four one two three four okay try that every every time you try the string yeah the, the the volume and the dynamic of the sound is the same for every for, for every stroke okay M and A is the most difficult part of, of uh, the exercise because index and middle is easier. So once you're comfortable playing, okay, resting, striking, resting, and raising. Okay, once you can do this without thinking about it, Okay, you can increase the speed. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's say that at the beginning, the first week, you can practice this exercise at least half a minute for for every finger combination, okay? When you get to one minute maintaining the same speed and the same rhythm, it means you have mastered this exercise. So the same thing for the M and A finger. Okay, that is that is part one of the of this lesson. Let's see part two. Part two is the same thing, but we're going to walk up the strings, say doing the same exercises, for, but for every string. So we have done this. Okay, but now we're going to do. We're gonna rest here on the B string, and we're going to hit the string where the first finger is resting. Okay, and right away I raise 
the finger that was resting on the string. Okay, let's see. Hit. Now I'm resting my index finger on the B string, okay? That's why now I have to hit this string, the B string with the middle finger, with M finger. Okay, now I'm resting with my M finger on the G string. So I hit the G string with my I finger. Okay, now I'm resting on the fourth, on the D string with my I finger. I'm going to hit the, the same string with my M finger. Okay, now the same with the B, with the A string. I'm resting with the M, now I'm gonna hit with I. I'm resting with I, now I'm gonna hit with M. So that's why the, the meaning of the exercise, the, the goal is to alternate this finger while you're walking the string, okay? Okay, let's do it first slowly. Let's, for every hit, let's count till four. One, two, three, 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 four. Okay, you can repeat it several times until you get it, okay? Once you have done it, hit in the string for a whole measure. So the sound duration is a measure because you count till four and the string is still sounding. Now let's do it on count one and count three. It means this, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? This time, as you see, we're hitting the, the strings twice as faster because we're, we're hitting the strings on, on beat number one and beat number three. Okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, th uh, sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. After that, you repeat the same thing, but now we're going to do it a little bit faster. And uh, how can we do it faster? We can do it hitting the string for every beat. So one, two, three, four. One, two, okay, three, four. If we want to finish with four. Okay. Once you have mastered that, you can, as soon as you get on top, you go down, like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you go on. Okay. Once you have done all these exercises with I finger and M finger, we do the same thing with M finger and A finger, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well, then one, two, one, two, three. Same thing, the goal of these exercises is you have finger independence, okay? So you can alternate uh, these, these two fingers and these two fingers without thinking about it. Because once you're going to learn, once you have learned also have to, how to use your left hand and when you're thinking about your left hand, your, hand, your right hand has to do everything without thinking about it. 
Once you have mastered both hands, then it's muscle memory. You do it without thinking about it, okay? For now, let's practice this lesson. And on the second lesson, we're going to learn how to, to speed up these exercises by uh, doing it with uh, doing them with different measures. Uh, okay? See you next lesson. Bye.